Hey folks, this is Aaron Fletcher once again at Geek Free Marketing, and we're going to cover in this quick video. We're going to cover how to go from zero to fully implemented Google Analytics for your WordPress site. So how to log into Access Analytics, set it up, grab a code, throw it into WordPress, and you're good to go to view a lot of information about your traffic patterns. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google.com/slash/analytics. And if you have any kind of Gmail or Google account, if you use Google Plus, which obviously you should be, and, or Google AdWords, you want to, you'll want you already be able to sign in um, to Google Analytics. But signing up is just as easy as requiring nothing else other than having an email. So sign in to Analytics. What you want to do is go into the admin section here, and you want to create a new account. And you want to put the name of the website for for example purposes we're going to use a business called Lee legal and the URL has to be the exact URL if it's if your URL doesn't have the the www then you need to make sure that you pay attention and paste the exact URL here so um, we won't talk about non www and <laughs> www URLs but for all intents and purposes just make sure you put the exact URL here Business services, the time zone is not really super important. We want to say Lee Legal as the account name. If you have multiple websites, then you can have separate accounts in here. Um, but just to make it real simple, let's just go ahead and get the tracking ID. You have to accept the terms of service, and what Google's going to do is give you a unique tracking ID. Now, if you have an HTML or some kind of other kind of janky website platform, you would need to paste this uh, JavaScript onto every page of your site that you want to track. Obviously, um, that would take a long time and not be um, the most pertinent use of your time. So we're talking about WordPress here, so we can use a plugin to do that. And what I want to show you is that there's a this tracking ID is what you need. This is the, the unique tracking ID, the UA code for Google Analytics. And it even tells you if the tracking has been installed by checking the site. So we want to, we want to go ahead and copy this code here and we want to save the setup. So knowing, so we want to know that everything's saved here. Now what we're going to do is go over to WordPress we're and the plugin that we need in our WordPress site to go ahead and activate Google Analytics and get the code on the site automatically. You can see here I'm on the actual WordPress site and if you're new to WordPress you can see our tutorials for how to use it but you should already know that if you go to your domain name slash WP admin that takes you to a login screen for your website and if you're already logged in, you'll just go ahead and go to your dashboard. So what you want to do is go to Appearance Plugins, right? So I'm sorry, you just want to go to Plugins, Install Plugins, click on Add New. And what that's going to do is take you to a search field. You want to type in Google Analytics, Search Plugins, and you want to make sure there's a lot of vendors out there, but you want to use Google Analytics for WordPress by Juste de Vac. I guess um, I can't pronounce his name but I know it's the best plugin. This is the maker of Yoast SEO plugin that we're going to talk about in a separate video. The best SEO plugin for WordPress and also the new Google XML site um, video sitemap plugin. But for now go to Google Analytics for WordPress click install now. Yes you're sure. Now if you remember, first thing you want to do is activate the plugin, like all plugins. If you remember, it asked us for a code. So we want to go to Google Analytics here and it asked us for a code, a unique code. What we want to do is paste that code that we got. Um, you can click on manually enter or you can go ahead and click here and it's going to ask us for information. And you want to make sure that this code is the one that we just got. Let's go reauthenticate with Google as if we were doing this from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I'm going to grant access. And it's going to ask me which website I want. Now if I go back and look at the Google uh, sorry, the Google Analytics screen itself that I set up here. Let me pull that up. So if I go again and look at this code, I want to make sure that it's the same code that I set up. That only makes sense. So you can see UA dash all these numbers, 50-1. This is the same code, so I know that I'm going to use the right tracking code. Now, this asks you where you want the tracking code to be. You always want to put that in the header. You're not going to insert it manually. And 
there's some advanced settings that really don't matter at this point once you get into custom variables if you ever do you can come back and, and do that but for now what we want to do there's a lot of different settings here none of them really matter all we want to do is make sure that we have the right code in here we want to update Google Analytics settings and then we want to give Google Analytics a few days and we want to come back and check and make sure that we have that we have the code so if I go back to Google Analytics right now and you'll see if I go ahead and refresh this page it'll say it's not installed yet because it's not gonna pick it up that quickly but when we come back later let me show you what it's gonna look like come into a list of sites that I have kind of flagged here that I use often in analytics and let's go look at one Eco performance builders and let's look and see what the code looks like so I can see here that if I go tracking info it says receiving data so that'll tell you again you just go to admin and you go to tracking info and that tells you that you're receiving the data so once you've done that you can go to reporting and you can get all kinds of information on um, kind of how many visitors you're getting, how long they're staying on your site, and even lead forms that they're filling out and all the great stuff that Analytics offers. But this is how you set up Analytics for WordPress. Let us know if you have any questions. And be sure to look for our tutorial on how to set up a Google Analytics dashboard. This dashboard is awesome because it shows you where people are coming from, how long and which content they're consuming on your site, how many of them are becoming leads or opt-ins, you know, the conversion rate for the site, where those conversions are coming from geographically and which kind of websites are good in terms of referrals leading to conversions and all the kind of a, a quick snapshot of your user behavior that you'd like to know about. But for now, let's end the video and make sure you go right now and install Google Analytics for your WordPress site.